and we're the Aitken sisters. And today we're going to be doing a video on totally messed up films. Yeah. Um, so spoiler alert if you've not seen these films. What are we starting with? Would you rather? Right. Would you rather is a movie where very rich people basically give poor people an offer of a shitload of money and they get them to do anything. So it's like 10 grand if you will drink this bottle of whiskey even though you're a recovered alcoholic. Some of the other ones. And that's just the game beginning. Yeah, that's the start. It gets a lot worse. Eventually everybody dies bar one person that gets as much money that's as That's who wins the game. Totally messed up. Yeah. So yes. what would you rate that out of? One or five? For messed upness? Four. I say it's totally messed up. Like. Three. The messed up bit is that the, the poor people go for the money. Which is just proving the fact people will do anything for money. Yeah. But I don't remember they weren't aware of what was going on. Yeah. It's, it's kind of made obvious like. Uh, next film. Which is House on the Left. House on the Left is this uh, family moves in and it's a teenage girl and she makes friends with the boy on the left. The house on the left. <laughs> and, the name. Uh, he is completely insane. With good reason, but he is completely insane. Um, pretty much he is kidnapping girls and locking them in his cellar and thinks they're his sister. Basically trying to remake his sister. Because she died. And they end up turning into like creatures. Because they just go crazy. Pretty much. And then we have... Wait, you're rating. Oh, what's your rating then? My written two. Yeah. Quite agree, like. And you go. And then we have Orphan. Or as I called it for ages, what's wrong with Esther? <laughs> and Esther is the name of the orphan. <laughs> um and that's about this family lose a baby, so they decide to adopt. And they adopt this young girl that looks unusual. Looks a bit strange, acts a bit strange, and is trying to sleep with her new dad. But it later comes out that she's actually a grown woman who has been going about foster homes, going to foster care. And murdering families. For a long time. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'd rate that four. Uh, no, three. I don't think that's as bad, like. You can tell we have different opinions. <laughs> yes, very. Uh, next is Loved Ones. I love this film. Loved Ones, DOS. Um, basically, a, a young, socially awkward girl asks somebody to, like, do the school dance of the year and they pretty much always reject her so it's a shame. her dad goes and kidnaps them and they have a prom in the house and that's not the creepy bit <laughs> it's not no uh, and they like jolly his head and pour a kettle of water into it and they've been doing it every year for years so all these missing boys or like locked in a basement cellar. And it still gets worse, but we'll leave you to find that out if you watch a film. That, that's totally messed up. I, I'd put that on like five. I agree, five. Full stop, capital letters. And next we have Triangle. Triangle's not so much messed up on the fact of the people in it are totally fucked up. The actual movie is confusing. But it's still slightly fucked up. Yeah. It's about the like the bit of what going into the Bermuda Triangle 
So everything just keeps replaying, replaying and itself. replaying and replaying. To a standard where there's three of you at the same time. Three of you and all your... F- and you, one of you have to die before another one of you turns up on the new boat. And basically you've got to kill everybody that gets off the new boat to save your child. Except you don't save your child. No, it just keeps repeating. <laughs> it's quite a horrible thing. Uh, I, I don't want to give it like a free though. Two and a half. Fair enough. Next we have the people under the stairs. <laughs> well, that film, that, that's great to explain. So you start off with... They're in the ghetto. Yes. With a wee uh, family, abusive father and little boy and mum. So he takes a little boy on a job, which is stealing stuff from big houses. Robbing. They decide to rob the wrong house, though. Thing is, they're not the people that's messed up at all. They're the normal ones in this. Uh huh. So it ends up being a couple with a little girl. One, not their little girl. And they keep trying to have the perfect boy. But there's always something wrong with them. If you've ever heard the saying, see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. They live by these rules very strongly. (laughs) You put it so nicely as well. (laughs) Because if we tell you everything, it'll just ruin the movie. So it's it's like the big base the movie. <laughs> <laughs> they hide them under the stairs. It's what they do to them before that. That's the issue. Yeah, so you should watch it. It's really good. You should and watch all the movies in this list, by the way. Because they're all really good. Just Especially if you're a horror fan. Yeah. Uh, and then we have House at the End of the Street. You never rated it. Oh, uh, if people under stairs, I give it f- four. Mm, yeah, three or a four, like. So three and a half for you. Pretty much. <laughs> I, uh, I can't remember which one that is. <laughs> I'll tell you about this one. <laughs> um, there's two versions of this film. You've got the old version. You've got the new version. I think the new version's better. So does she, because she'll never remember the new one. <laughs> I know what it is now. <laughs> Would you like to explain then? <laughs> Two guys and a girl. Women. And I a suppose. little boy. And they're one of their sons. Basically kidnap two girls and take them into the woods and torture and abuse them for a while and she manages to escape and goes home. One of the girls manages to escape. Spoiler much. (laughs) Manages to escape and gets back to her own house and because there's a big storm these fucked up people that done it to her in the first place end up stuck out of nowhere. End up going to that house too and get to stay in the what's it called? The wee house. The extra house that rich people have. <laughs> guest house. Guest house. <laughs> we spoke of a guest room, to be fair, right? Um, so they get to stay in there, and this is just before the daughter manages to actually get home. And then you find out how evil parents can be when folks fuck with their daughter. children. Or children, yeah. Children in general. Children in general, yes. Oh, it's a really good movie. You should see the old version and the new version. They're both really good. The new one is They're better, slightly yeah. different, but that's because we're from that age group. I uh, suppose the, one, the new one's a bit more moder- modern. 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 <laughs> modern, even. Uh, and last of all, When Evil Calls. Absolute brilliant movie. Cheesy. Cheap made film, but dos, regardless. You would know, not know it was a cheap made film. It was bought in a pound shop. Yeah, but on the of watching it, it's been made really well. Camera work's actually really good. Yeah. They had a good cameraman who doesn't shake all the time. Which is basically... <laughs> <laughs> so 
Facebook. Kan jag inte komma och matcha det? Nej, nej. Jag tror att jag kan inte stå och matcha det. If you're not watch it. Um, there, there's a clown who basically gives you a wish. Through a text message. Through a text message. And the wish you then make. He twists it round. No, no, he does exactly what you ask for. Except from it's not what like, you like, were actually like, asking for. You're, you're, one of the wishes in it is, I wish I looked good enough to eat. The wish coming true is that somebody then eats her. Eats her. <laughs> Not in a good way. For you dirty minded people. <laughs> Trust you. Um, so, yeah, and there's there's a lot of wishes in it. Because it just, like, obviously text messages, young people spread like wildfire. Yep. And the clown looks creepy. The high school was running out with students by the end. <laughs> oh, and the detectives are drunk. Which just makes everything better. And... That's all with the movies we have. So, Definitely. oh wait, wait. Ooh. And we forgot to rate the one before it as well. A three. And House on the Left a four. I give House on the Left a five. It is really fucked up. When Evil Calls. Yeah, four. But yeah, check all the movies out. They're really good. Give us comments on if you know any films we've missed out. Or that we should watch. Because <laughs> as you can tell, we like horror movies. The more fucked up, the better. Yep. Thank you very much. Bye.